yeah, mm-hmm. talk to me. I was going to say, elaborate on your training philosophy because mm-hmm. I've seen clips. You, you tend to do supersets. Is that only in the pre-contest? Like maybe you can touch on that, you know, things like training to failure and really tough yeah. like reps where you can't complete another one. Do you incorporate these things? Or do you think that's maybe is why also people run mm-hmm. into trouble and hurt, risk hurting themselves and don't have longevity with training because they are just training way too hard, maybe. Uh, I think number one thing is uh, the, the muscles that you, the, all these muscles are related. Uh, and so you have to find like the, the perfect combination. You cannot, you cannot train uh, like everything at, uh, at the same time. You know, you, you have to, uh, to find a way that you separate uh, different muscle groups. If you're doing superset, which I sometimes that's my favorite uh, thing to do, uh, the superset, pick workouts, pick body parts that relate to each other and work them on the same day. If you're a competitor, just be, be, know where, when to change things. Uh, like, like supersets are good in terms of uh, like when, when you are getting ready to compete, like four weeks or five weeks out, it's super effective when you are um, getting ready to compete. But when you are trying to build more muscles, then you don't need a superset. You just need uh, some compound uh, workouts. Pick one or two workouts per body part, which is normally I do. I do two, two workouts that are heavy. The rest are just normal uh, 10 reps. But okay. I, will pick, I will pick at least two workouts and uh, do heavy, uh, heavy sets. Uh, but I try to make sure that I, at least I do from five to eight reps, even if it's even when I'm doing the heavy set, I still have to make sure that I perform five to seven or eight reps. So now, just make sure you know when to change uh, the training method, uh, when to apply the, the superset, when to, um, when to lift heavier, because some people even train heavier when it's like two weeks to compete. Uh, so you just have to make sure that you know when to change your method of training. And I think because it's been reported, of course, many bodybuilders have reported this, the natural bodybuilders that I've spoken with, where they get hurt approaching a contest, and maybe because they're trying to maintain the same style of training as they were doing in the off season, which, you know, obviously, it risk for injury goes up as you're getting leaner, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, doing those heavy, heavy lifting, like you said, the heavy, heavy lifting uh, might not be as appropriate, right? Like, it could just be as simple as that. Yes, do, doing heavy uh, workouts uh, when you are approaching um, contest is uh, very dangerous because the more you get leaner, the more your joints get weak. And so if you put heavy load on weak joints, you're going to get injury. And so the best thing is avoid those heavy liftings when you are a few weeks to compete. Try not to imitate everybody. Yeah, don't do something because Meshach is doing it. Don't have like that ego in the gym that oh uh, I have to lift this amount of weight. No, it's it's not about the weight. You can see me like that lifting 315.